Greetings everyone, for here. Welcome to the Demo Hub. In today's demo, we're going to take a look at Data Law. Uh, Data Law is a tool from JetBrains. Uh, JetBrains uh, makes uh, software for uh, data teams and software developers. If you've used PyCharm by any chance, you're familiar with JetBrains, a uh, very capable team. And uh, Data Law is a product from that team. And we're going to take a look at that today. Uh, explore data law, see its capabilities and how it fits into the modern data space. Now, data law is uh, positioned as a collaborative data science platform in the cloud and nothing to install. You essentially get into the cloud and you have a, a collaborative uh, data science environment to use uh, for uh, notebooks and uh, working with Python code. Uh, that said, let's log in to see what that uh, experience looks like. Once you log in, we prompted to accept some of the terms and conditions, and this takes us into the data law environment, hosted environment for uh, running and managing your notebooks. So to the left is the navigation options. Your notebooks will show up here, recent activities. You can collaborate and share those notebooks with lots of notebooks. You can highlight your favorites bring in files into your workspace to use. So this might be sample data sets, or schedule notebooks for refreshes, connect to databases or for your data sources. In here, you see your popular databases. So Snowflake, of course, is what we uh, use. You can put in your credentials to authenticate into Snowflake. There is cloud storage too, of course, if you have some data sets uh, sitting in S3 or in the object store on uh, Google. So. Giving that cloud uh, native uh, notebook uh, type experience is what uh, data law does from the JetBrains uh, family. So let's go back in uh, to notebooks, get started tutorial. There is a hello world notebook here. You can write with cells. If you've written in any notebook, you'll be very familiar with the concept of cells and being able to execute a cell. It's interesting. You can even embed videos here too as well. Print hello world, explore data, some images and, and much more. To start with the very first one here, you can write, execute that, print a welcome to data law. Let's do demo hub to be sure that this is actually running live. Welcome to demo uh, hub. And uh, you can also run that, stopping the machine, clearing all the cells. The typical experience you would have if you're familiar with the Jupyter notebooks of the world, uh, this will give you that uh, very similar type of feel. You can restart your kernel and some other options here for the computation or can access to terminal, uh, importing files and much more. To the left, there are a couple of things to call out. This is the environment, very relevant for data science, uh, the environment with which you work with, making sure the packages you need are all available uh, and installed, PIP, TensorFlow, Babel, you name it, whatever packages you need are available. Now, if the packages aren't added, you can go ahead and add uh, the package by pointing to a particular Git repository. So that option there is available. If there are specific files you need or data you need, you can certainly import those for the computation. And this is key for data science, the kind of CPU we're working with. You can monitor your utilization here, the amount of RAM that's available. This is a basic machine with the pro version. You can go up to higher machines. So even GPUs that comes in relevant if you're training say a machine learning model that needs uh, GPU uh, type uh, capabilities as opposed to regular CPU. So those are all available in the pro account. Anyone who is uh, familiar with Jupyter Notebooks, this will definitely ring home, not too dissimilar from what you might have uh, used in that space. So let's go ahead and create a new notebook. You can create a brand new one or a folder, or you can import one. Let's see both experiences. Create a new notebook, call this demo hub, select the type of kernel we want. It's a Python, if we just want a basic machine, the environment with PIP, we should be using PyPy, or you can go with uh, Conda and getting your packages from Conda. If there are secrets, particular variables or, or tokens you wanna use, so you can bring those in here into your secret and attach that. For the kernel, you can use uh, Python, Kotlin, Scala, or R type kernel. Go ahead, create that. And now this uh, gives us the plain vanilla canvas again, like before, this is all pure Python. Go ahead and write a simple Python code, execute that. It prints here on the screen. 
you can insert more cells or you can go in and convert this to SQL or Markdown and a few other options that are available. The SQL option is only for the pro version. Now let's go back one more time to see another notebook. Instead of creating a brand new notebook, we're going to import one from the desktop. The notebook has been selected, it's been imported, and this is the notebook we've imported. Just a sample notebook you'll find uh, online uh, shows up in here. We do have those cells as well as some logic. This is using Matplotlib that executes, it takes a few seconds. We can generate some random numbers, and voila, we have a chat as well. So your existing notebooks will definitely uh, work within this environment. Now, one of the things that's always fascinating is that collaborative aspect of notebooks. Uh, I love uh, Jupyter Notebooks, installing uh, a local server on my machine and running Jupyter Notebooks there is great. But what if you want to take that notebook and collaborate with other folks? You can always put that into Git and have them check it out. Uh, but there's just an aspect of being able to go in and share publish that notebook so others can uh, see your work. The goal of data science for in many cases is to, is to collaborate and not just to have experiments on your machine. Here uh, you can click on share or uh, you can do a view access link and send this to other folks who can view your notebook or give them edit access link. Here you need the pro version to do that. So let's do the, the view access link, copy this. This is what that link uh, looks like when uh, somebody else is viewing this particular notebook so they will have an experience like this if more folks are viewing you're gonna see the image of them uh, viewing this particular notebook as well this collaborative aspect again of notebooks is something fascinating and there are a lot of players in this space we've done demos here on on demo hub there is hex deep note polynode um, and the list continues so many options that are coming up in this space to help with not just doing uh, a collaborative notebook in the cloud but also being able to share that and, and have other people uh, view your work. So there you have it. Hopefully this gives you a, a, a quick sense of what data law is about. JetBrains makes tons of, of tools. Uh, PyCharm is one. I use PyCharm a lot, to be honest. It's, it's very capable. If you're a Python developer, PyCharm is, uh, is really a gold standard. Visual Studio Code also is very popular, but uh, there is something to be said about PyCharm from JetBrains. Now with uh, data law for the data scientists and, and the engineers, uh, it's a very capable uh, option as well. If you need an option to run in the cloud, no installation on your machine, definitely check out uh, data law. As always, links to all of this will be in the description below. Check it out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Let us know in the comment section below um, or reach out directly to the JetBrains team. I'm sure they can help you with uh, any questions you have. This has been Fru. We've uh, done a quick orientation and overview of data law. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next demo.